Hi, this is Maggie. Today, I'm, I was trying to go live with the solar eclipse going on today. So it's, uh, yeah, by the time this pose, anyway, uh, it's a new, new moon and a sol solar eclipse in Cancer, and it's 21 degrees Cancer. Massive oppositions to Capricorn, which has been ongoing, but the new moon and the solar eclipse, which the solar eclipse will be invisible. Nobody will really see it, but nobody around here anyway. Um, but the impact will be about six months. And, you know, we've already been seeing all this tension going on, you know, with the cancer, Pluto, opposition. Um, you know, you can see it collectively in the government and authority figures um, and in your individual chart and life as well. So, um, yeah, so the main players, <laughs> the main players are Pluto and Saturn opposing, um, opposing, well, it's a new moon as well, new moon in Cancer, so it's good to set an intention with the fact that it's a solar eclipse as well would make it a little more powerful. And the north node is only five degrees Leo, so it's pretty close to this new moon as well. Five degrees is not a huge orb. So, um, yeah, there's going to be just a lot of events and things going down in the next six months. And there has been. It's been ongoing. I don't really want to talk about our government anymore. I'm tired of talking about them. But, you know, it's been ongoing with them as well. Uh, in our country, the U.S. is cancer. Uh, yeah, so really don't want to talk about our president, but he's been acting out, you know, with all, all the world leaders all over the place, and that is sad, and, and that's the opposition, you know, of cancer and the moon, opposed to Pluto, the, the south node, actually the south node is in uh, Aquarius, and Mars is also in Aquarius, and Mars is retrograde, and all these retrograde planets. Oh my God, just trying to do this video today was such a challenge. I tried, first of all, to go live, Facebook Live, and couldn't do that because of this curl Firefox thing. And then I tried to do YouTube Live, and I couldn't encode it. So, and then my main thing, I love AstroBeats. It's my go-to site. And they were down. <laughs> they were down. So I do have uh, some software for, for um, what is it? I don't even use it. I usually don't even use it. Oh, time passages. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've got it on my phone and iPad, but I really don't use the software that much. But out of desperation, I had to use it. And you know, he, yeah, anyway, <laughs> some people have unsubscribed from his email because he, he named Trump in a, you know, in, in an eclipse reading and they unsubscribed from his newsletter because, you know, he wasn't being objective. And I think the guy lives in Santa Cruz and they're very liberal there. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, it, anyway, <laughs> I'm using this. And, um, personally, I'm having a family reunion. I'm not having it, but my whole, the whole family reunion is going down this weekend. So it's a huge family. Um, and so you know, I'm just going to have to, we're all going to have to go with the flow. And that's going to be hard, you know, with all these Willful dominant personalities and with Pluto's sign. Pluto, rather, Pluto and Saturn. 
kept everything retrograde as well. Opposing, you know, the new moon, the new moon. So I, I have yet to set my intention. <laughs> I think I'm going to set it to have better luck with electronics. And until my ruler Mars goes direct, I have really been feeling the effects of this. I mean, today especially. Actually, ever since it went retrograde, um, I really, really noticed it. Really noticed it. It's just really an effort and a struggle to get things going. And to see astrophysics go down um, just verifies that for me. So uh, beware of power struggles. Uh, it's kind of like the home, you know, the home. Moon, Saturn, I mean, moon, moon, sun, moon are the home. It's all about the home, the family, you know, the feminine principle, women. Uh, yeah, so, you know, a barbecue and just an outing with the family can be great, but at the same time, you have to balance the, the opposition, which, you know, with the eclipse will be very intense. So, um, yeah, just, <laughs> just be, if, you know, I think if you're just aware of that, and, and a lot of events happen as well during eclipses, you know, just events, whether they be in government or, <clears throat> you know, some kind of event. It could be a, a, a birth, a death, or, um, you know, and it could be within the six-month period. So, um, yeah, so I basically wanted to talk about Mars retrograde. I mean, it was just a, a test of endurance to even get this thing up here today. So... I just wanted to weigh in on the, uh, the solar eclipse new moon in Cancer today. And yeah, <coughs> I really miss my Astrodes. <coughs> I really miss that. You know, it's my favorite software. And at this point, you know, I've just really um, had it with my Mars Retro. And I just, I don't even know if I'll post this. But probably I will. <clears throat> because that was my intention originally. So my advice to people um, is to just really be careful with authority figures, with authority, uh, with power struggles. There are major, major power struggles going on. There's a beautiful groundwater trying, and there's a beautiful earth trying. Um, yeah, and, and there's some, um, yeah, so, you know, the, the water trying is beautiful. If I could, if, <laughs> if we could just focus in on that, and the earth trying is very, very good as well. So focus in on those. And, um, <laughs> you know, the, there's some sextiles, but the squares and the oppositions, Jupiter is opposed, Jupiter and fixed Scorpio is opposed to Uranus and Taurus. They're, they're both very fixed and stubborn. So, um, yeah, so Venus is in Virgo. Um, it's part of the, <coughs> part of the trine. But I, you know, the, the main thing is just, I'm just focusing in on this new moon, and the opposition is very, very strongly felt. And Mars is so close. Mars is only seven degrees, and it just went retro. Um, Pluto is retro. Saturn, I believe, is retro. Yeah, everything is, <laughs> everything is retro. Mercury. Yeah, Mercury is just really feeling retro to me, I'll tell you. Yeah, Mercury and Leo. Mercury and Leo. Yeah, whether, you know, if I miss, it might have gone direct, but um, it doesn't feel like it to me. 
It does not feel like it to me at all. Uh, if it is, the software doesn't even say it. So I really miss my astro beats. Uh, yeah, but anyway, and that's because of the bars, the retro bars in Aquarius, which rules electronics. I mean, electronics for me have been crashing and burning and just. Uh, and it's not them so much as me, you know. I'm trying to go with the flow and to, to learn to deal with it uh, without totally embarrassing myself. <laughs> but, you know, oh well, it's a process. Uh, so other than that, I don't have a, a lot to say that I haven't already talked about. It's, it's basically the same energy that we've had. Um, and we'll continue to have, you know, during Saturn and Pluto, been there for years in Cap Capricorn. So these power struggles have been ongoing. Um, yeah, so it's the individual, the home, the family. The, you may have a very headstrong child, you know, very headstrong child. Um, so I would say just, you know, in your personal life, forget politics. Uh, I, you can't totally forget it, but basically we're being called to take a stand, all of us. And, you know, I, I've been saying that since all the school shootings, and we really are being called upon to take a stand on issues. And people are taking a stand. And uh, some people are taking a really hard line, and others are silent. And you know, it's just uh, it's up. It's totally up. These things are up. Politics is up, unfortunately, and government is up. World politics are up. All these things are up. So in their, their in everyone's face. Unfortunately, our world leader, he really is uh, he really is an embarrassment to the country. I didn't name his name, but you know, uh, especially disrespecting world leaders, you know, in the UN. Um, yeah, so all that kind of stuff is going on, but you know, he, he's off the hook anyway, you know, he just, I've done his chart, I know what, <laughs> where his Uranus is, and he just uh, changes his mind every minute, which is why he uses Twitter, <laughs> that's why, but, yeah, I didn't even want to talk about that, but um, anyway, set your intention, your new moon intention, your moon and cancer, like if you want a baby, if you want to conceive, uh, if you want to get married, if you want to start a new family, if you, it doesn't have to be a Cancerian thing, you know, and the eclipse and the new moon will happen wherever you have cancer in your chart. For me, I have it in my fourth house of families. So, <laughs> I will be familyed out, I'm sure, by the end of the weekend. And all of this family stuff is going on. What, two weddings. Um, yeah, it just, it just keeps coming. So and those are all within the next six months, the next three months, actually. So that could, that could also be part of it. You know, the new moon, the eclipse. One wedding is in September, and the next one is in October. So, um, yeah, so there's like three major family events all in a row. And, you know, it's, it's just a lot of plan. I don't have to do all the planning. I just kind of have to show up and go with the flow and go with the itinerary. And the itinerary is going on for like three days. So long enough for this eclipse to, you know, be at its most pronounced. So it'll, it'll be good to see everyone but at the same time. Um, and just be aware of, you know, powers, 
not done so much power struggles, but wanting to be heard, you know, in, in, a, in a large group situation or in the family, wanting to be heard and having the opposition, uh, it's, it's not easy. So, it, and in our family anyway, we were always told to go with the flow because, you know, <laughs> that was our family motto, the family's so big, so. Uh, but at the same time, I, I really, you can't foretell what the event will be. Um, there's just been so many events anyway, all, all these earth-related events and women-related events and, you know, disgrace and power and corruption and, you know, bullying. Everybody knows all the stuff going on in the world. I don't need to reiterate it here. But, um, yeah, so all of that. And But where it is in your personal chart, um, yeah, you could go to astrodeans.com or astrotheme um, and bring up your chart. You know, it's, get a free chart, you know, and see where your ascendant is. And uh, just really familiarize yourself with your own wheel. It's so important. And see where your cancer is. See what house it's in. See what, you know, you might, well, if it's your birthday, you know, this month. Wow, yeah, it's it's a huge, <laughs> huge month for, uh, yeah, my daughter and my sister are both uh, July 8th Cancerians, and they both have their birthday on the same day, and, you know, everything's going to be at the family reunion, and so... Anyway, she, my sister has a wedding, you know, she's planning a wedding. <laughs> I was planning this family reunion, which is so Cancerian, you know. Uh, yeah, very Cancerian. So I expect to see uh, some more events, some more definite some more events going on, especially with Cancers uh, and with Capricorns. And in our government, in our world, uh, what people really are being called to the collective, you know, cancer represents not only America, but also the individual. And the room could be women or children. Motherhood is being called into question, you know, kids being separated from their mothers. Uh, that, that is definitely the Pluto opposition. Pluto is out our opposition to the moon. Um, so that's kind of being undone, but it's really, really messy. Uh, yeah, and so the beautiful grand water trine, that's, that's a wonderful thing to focus on. I love it. I love it. And there is the coolest, <laughs> the coolest uh, video I've been following on YouTube below. I really like him. I really like him. He's got some really good stuff on his channel. Flight Boss. <laughs> yeah, this is a Flight Boss. Hello. And he's got some great stuff. And what made me think of that is his grandwater trying. In one of his videos, he, just like a five minute video, but he, he was explaining how to um, sort of like make, you have to wait for a grandwater trying, which it's been ongoing. And then set your intention. Draw like a rectangle in chalk. You have to check out his channel and just watch it yourself. But draw like a rectangle or square, you know, on the patio in chalk. And <coughs> draw a triangle inside of it. Because it is a beautiful grandmother triangle. And set your intention in there. I don't have any chalk. I have to go buy some chalk. I don't have to do it today, but because it's... Grand trying it's just it's gonna be there a long time. And Neptune's gonna be in in Pisces forever. <laughs> At least this lifetime almost. Jupiter is gonna remain in Scorpio until you know October, November, early November. And 
Tricky son, Louie. They won't keep cancer forever, you know. Uh, but if you have planets there, they will be. So um, if you have planets in cancer, it will really impact you. Um, yeah, I'm probably going a little too long on this. But Uranus, Uranus in, in Taurus, you know, the, the grand earth kind. Um, Venus just went into Virgo, so that will lighten up things. And that will bring, maybe you'll get a new job. You know, maybe a, a new job or a raise. It'll bring um, good things to Virgos. Good things. Through the through their, their uh, trying that they have. Grand Earth trying. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so get a piece of chalk if you have any. Grab your kids' chalk and draw a grand water trying on your patio. Check out Delos. I give it a shout out. Delos channel. Uh, and yeah, just write your intention in the middle. Or you said you said you could you could also burn it, burn something, or you could do whatever you want. You know, whatever kind of ritual you want. Um, yeah, I thought it was it was pretty cool. So anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, wishing you all a very good eclipse season. You know, there's been like three in a row. We had one. This is the second one, and then the uh, the solar the solar eclipse in August. I already did a video on that because that's the big one. That's the most powerful one. But everyone's really looking at this one, so I thought I'd have a look, even though it's it's not really visible. So, um, yeah, to overcome all the stress. I would suggest strongly to focus on the times, focus on the earth time, and focus on the uh, grand water times. And if you have any sextiles, to focus on those, because sextiles, the 60 de degree aspects, are the way out. They are the possibilities, or the solution, the solution to the problem. So there are some sextiles between between Earth and water, they get along, they're a sextile. So between Venus, that just went into Virgo, three degrees Virgo, just went in. So good luck with that new job or that new health, health regimen that you just started. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's, it's a sextile to Jupiter and Scorpio, which I believe this station, it's, it's no longer retro. And, uh, so it's 13 degrees. And the other sextile is, um, yeah, Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn and Jupiter, Saturn and Capricorn sextiling um, Jupiter, Jupiter and Scorpio. So you could all use all that passion and Scorpio energy to make changes in the government or to make changes in your life. Because Jupiter is powerful, it's lovely. I mean, it's expansion, and it could give you a lot of intense, powerful drive to make changes if you want to, to make changes to the situation that maybe you've been wanting to get out of for a long, long time. Maybe a, a solution will come to you through the sextile. So look to those, look to the sextiles, look to the, tri the beautiful trines, two trines, the earth trine and water, the ground water trine. And that takes away from all the negativity, you know? I mean, it helps. Every little bit helps, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.